Hi guys, welcome to video three, how to distress your piece. So if you followed us in the first two videos, we've learned how to prep and we've painted and now I'm gonna show you how to distress. Now there are a couple of options when you are distressing um, with sandpaper and that's what we're going over today. Uh, the first is you can always just use sandpaper with your hand and I usually buy it in the eight by 10 sheets and cut it in half and you know, but it's a little, uh, it's a little bit more labor intensive. And as you get um, used to your distressing look, it's way easier to use a palm sander. So today I'm going to be de-stressing with this. And what I wanna stress is you can try this, take your time, err on the side of a finer grit sandpaper as opposed to a coarser grit, because if you do coarse and you're not used to the, the action of the sander, you can do a lot of damage. The good part is, is you can just paint right over it, but it's more time. So I am using 180 grit sandpaper today on um, my little Black & Decker palm sander. And all I'm gonna do is on this piece, because it's from the 1900s, I want it to be a little bit more chippy than just lightly distressed. So I'm really gonna kind of give it a good rubbing over, um, kind of random. There's no wrong or right way to distressing. It really is your personal taste. Um, like I said, on this piece, I'm going to uh, do a little bit more just because it's so old. So if you don't mind the noise, I'm going to turn on my sander and I'm going to start my distressing. And really quickly, I'm focusing on the edges and the flat surfaces. So I'm really not doing like, um, you know, I'm not going to like make random spots. I'm really focusing on where it would naturally distress if this piece had been painted when it was um, newly manufactured. So you'll see as I'm going along that I'm not really um, focusing on a lot of the, 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 the flatter surfaces. I'm, I'm really just trying to hit the edges to make it look like it would be original. So ig ignore the noise and here we go. Okay, now when I'm doing the drawers, I like to step in it because on the drawers specifically, I really want to just kind of hit the edges. I don't want to chew it up too much. So that will give my drawer some stability. So I'm going to step in my drawer. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm just gonna dust my piece off really well um, with a feather duster, and we're gonna move on to video number four, which is going to be how to seal our finished piece.
and it's that easy. Thank you guys for joining me on this video series and I would encourage you to follow us on social media and also if you would be interested in becoming a Pure Home Paint retail partner, please follow the link below and reach out to us. We'd love to have you on our team.